Okay, so we're just going to do the movie activity on Blockly Games. It'll be the last activity, and you'll notice there's two more, act, uh, mu music and the um, pond. Pond is really tough, so uh, you can do that for fun. You can do music and pond, but there's no real new concepts. You got the idea of a do loop, a, re a repetition, an if statement, a while loop. Uh, so, so you get the idea of those things, and that's the kind of logic, the flow charting, that you need to do for uh, to for any program, for any programming language, not just JavaScript. But get the flow charts, get your logic straight, and then your programs will flow. Okay, let's look at look take a look at this movie. So the first activity isn't any decisions. It's, it's more or less straightforward. Here's the commands, by the way. You have circle, rectangle, and line. Here's the color. You can set the color. First thing we need to do is set the color. Oh, okay. Set the Red is already the color, so that's cool. We'll leave it at red because I want to make a red circle. Now, make the circle. Put her there. It's not centered right. It needs to be the X coordinate is right, but the Y coordinate needs to be higher. There, that sets that. Now I need to change the color to blue for the body. Oops, I want a color. I didn't want the movie tool. Blue for the body, movie, rectangle. Where its center is, it's centered on 50 50 with 10 10, which will give you this square. Um, the centering. The X coordinate's fine, but the Y coordinate needs to move down to 40. And the width needs to be 20, and the height needs to be 40. And you can tell you have an axis on the X and Y axis. You have a ruler, a scale. So you can just read it straight off that scale. So now I'm gonna I need to set the color again to black for the arms. And I'll actually need two lines. You'll notice the rectangle, there's no way to draw a slant. So line start, 60, 40, line end, 80, 60. Line start, 60. Don't need to change the end. Um, 80 and... I got this wrong. 50. Got a x. Is, it's got to start at 50. It ends at x equals 80. Y equals 70. There we go. Width. Two. No, that doesn't work. Three. Nope, that doesn't work. Four. Almost there. Five. Voila. And now, it's similar for this other line, uh, we already know the width is going to be the same. And the start is going to be 40, 50. And the end is going to be 20, 70. And voila, we have it done. We got to have our little little man done. And when you get it finished, you'll get the JavaScript code come up. Yay, you did it. Ready to move on to level two. Okay, now we're in this we're actually going to make a movie now and we want the the arm and of course this is a code from before this makes our little man just like it did before but we have a new tool we're adding called time drop it out there and what we want to do is take the arm and go from 0 to 100 
we want to raise it from 0 to equal to 100. So that's y equals 0 to y equals 100. Everything else is the same. The x-coordinate is the same on the first arm, which is, which is this arm. It's the y-coordinate right here we want to change. So let's run our little guy. And voila, done. Now, we start with the same code we did on activity two. And we want a mathematical uh, formula to, to make the y, the, now you want the y position, the other arm to start at 100, go to zero, and to start up start high and then go low. Instead of 0 to 100, we want it to go from 100 to 0. OK, so now we need math. And here's a 0, by the way. That's just a constant. We can change the constant. And we're also going to need a timer. There we go. Now we take now this is a simple formula we want to start at 100 we subtract the time that it's in and just drop the time in here so this block ought to make the other's arm go down when there we go I wanted to grab the whole thing go down so we can drop it in there and we can run it see what happens Yay! We did it right. Now this activity, they want to make the leg cross. I'm going to skip that because you have the tools to do this on your own now. And I want to cancel this. Okay, cancel it. Go there. Get to number five. Um, so now we have a new mathematical formula. And you want to write this down because it'll disappear as soon as you click OK. As soon as you click the OK button here, it'll disappear. I just moved it off the screen, as you guys can probably tell. Time minus 50 over 5 raised to the second power. Remember that, though. So we got time, we got the blocks, we got the math. Um, and we're, we're going to have to create a complicated formula. I'll go through this one here. So it's time minus 50. We're going to need a timer block. And it looks like we got to get our, it looks like we have to rebuild this, this thing. We don't get to start with what we had before. So I'm going to pause for just a minute and do all the rebuilding steps so you don't have to watch me do that. Okay. So I dropped, I'm, I dropped in the math block for this arm. I'm just going to show, uh, I'm just going to show this arm. I'm not going to fill in the rest of the figure. You guys can do that. Just going to show how this time block works. So what are we trying to get? We're trying to get the right arm to move like this. And we need the time minus 50 so we're going to have a timer there we do I need a timer so there's time and then we got to subtract 50 subtract 50 and we got to divide that by 5 so we need another math block there we go or maybe we don't. Maybe I can use this one. I might. I still have a feeling I'm going to need another math block. And now, uh, need to raise it to the second power. So what's going to happen is, it's going to start, time is going to start at zero, and we're going to have a negative 50 divided by 5, which is 10. 
and we're going to raise it to the second power, which is 100. So the arm will start up here. When time equals 50, the arm will be at the bottom. And when time equals positive 50, it'll be back to 100. So it's going to go top, bottom, top. That's the idea. That's what we're trying to get at. So you can build formulas this way. This, the interior block, acts like things are in parentheses. So we don't have to worry about parentheses. Uh, OK, divided by 5. And I want to take the whole thing. There we go. Take the whole thing out. Put a new one in. Because I want to raise it to a power. There we go. And I need a width of 5. So we'll just do this much and see if it matches what, uh, what the model is, what, what they want. And sure enough, it does. I'm going to wind up this video here just introducing number 7. So there's no new math. You're supposed to draw a head and then make it a big head for the second half. Okay, so there's the math we've gone through, the color we've gone through, the movie steps we've gone through. Logic is what you've seen in previous weeks. So now you get to throw in the logic and combine it with, with everything else you know. And that'll be it for my instruction on Blockly this week. And we will start Excel next week.